The Tekken series has a rich history of content. With several entries in the series, there is bound to be ideas, concepts, and cut content that wouldn't make the final release. Starting things off, let's travel down memory lane and turn our attention to one of the best selling fighting games of all time, Tekken 3. One of the most well known pieces of cut content from the series was Jun Kazama's exclusion from Tekken 3. To all of us who grew up with the game, that fact blows our minds. After all, we haven't seen Jun in a main title entry in over 23 years. Considering how vital her role was in the series, which includes managing to suppress the devil within Kazuya and produce the eventual main character of the series, it's a wonder why she wasn't included in the game. In the code of the game, Jun's character can be accessed. However, despite her portrait and voice lines being in the game, a character model was never made. If you try to access her character, she will spawn with Nina's character model and Jen's moveset. On the now defunct Tekken website, Tekken Nation, Harada provided meaningful insight into Tekken 3's development and cut content. Harada confirmed that Kazuya's name is in the code of the game, but only as a placeholder for Jen. Harada also went in depth with the strange names that were found in the game's code, those including Sake and Insect. Sake was originally going to be another animal character, specifically, a fish. It was a humorous idea, but Harada felt that it wouldn't be right to charge people in the arcades to play as a character who couldn't fight. Insect, on the other hand, was going to be a giant praying mantis. The idea came from a bug that distorted the character's body into a thinner form of itself. Although Insect was considered, Harada stated that the team could not spare the resources to develop his character. At the time, their focus was on developing the more prominent members of the roster, like Jin and Xiao Yu. Moving on, Tekken 4 has a myriad of unused voice lines. Kunimitsu, Tetsujin, Mokujin, Henjin, Hinjin, Wang Jinle, Prototype Jack, Devil, Angel, Ogre, True Ogre, Jinpachi Mishima. Among some of the characters who were mentioned are Jack, Ogre, and Jinpachi Mishima. Whether or not those characters were considered for Tekken 4 is an interesting thing to imagine. Now, let's get to the more obscure content, and there's plenty. At E3 2006, the world was introduced to the latest entry in the Tekken series with Tekken 6. Hey, I hope you don't mind me cutting in here. If you liked the video so far, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. The reveal trailer was a marvel to look at. During that period of time, the industry was moving towards emulating real life with the direction of graphics, story, and so on. Instead of featuring some of the more popular characters of the series, the trailer exclusively focused on a large scale battle between Jen, Lily, and Harang. The battle was well choreographed and very high quality for its time. I mean, duh, that's a given considering that this was a reveal trailer. But try looking between the lines here. Harada thought very diligently about how he should reveal the game. They could have chosen any set of characters, but they decided upon those three specifically. Both Harang and Lily had issues with Jin and the Mishima Zaibatsu in some way. In the entry prior, Harang's story ended on a cliffhanger as he was about to fight Devil Jin. Likewise, Lily's story in Tekken 6 involved her entering the tournament after the Mishima Zaibatsu took over her dad's oil fields. To say the least, these two had some getting even to do. The ironic thing about this trailer is that despite it being drastically different from anything that we've seen at the time, it is hardly referenced at all by the fanbase. Harada has never delved into the development of this trailer. For all we know, this may have very well been a cutscene that was scrapped from the game. Either way, I felt that it was worth mentioning. At this point, I would have concluded the video here. For years, I thought that these were all of the known pieces of cut content from the series, but I recently stumbled across a gold mine. In 2013, Harada decided to release a free to play entry in the series that recycled the engine and resources of Tekken Tag Tournament 2, 
The game was called Tekken Revolution. In a poll given to fans, we were given the option to choose from 10 characters to appear in Tekken Revolution. These characters range from scrapped characters to minor characters in the franchise's history. This was a one in a lifetime opportunity. I had to contribute to the poll and vote for a character myself. I remember being torn between the Tekken Force female and Eliza, but I believe that I chose Eliza due to how interesting and more robust her description was. Eliza was a character that was described as having projectiles, something that we've never seen in Tekken before. Additionally, Harada described her as good fortune, as every time the team was prepared to develop her, a strange phenomenon would occur where many of the members would either get married or have children. Eliza was planned for both Tekken 6 and Tekken 6 Bloodline Rebellion. Returning to the Tekken Force female, she was a concept that was proposed for Tekken 5. Due to her outfit being too revealing and fears that the game's rating would increase, the character was scrapped. The concept surfaced again for Tekken 6. She was elaborated upon as a soldier who was loyal to the Mishima Zaibatsu regardless of who was in charge. As such, she was not a part of the rebellion started by Lars. Ultimately, she was scrapped again. Shin Kamiya, a character who was featured in the CG animated movie Tekken Blood Vengeance, was also included in the poll. There were concerns about his implementation as the character died at the end of the movie. Not only that, but the character did not have any fighting ability. The team considered having him in the game before the event of his death, as well as having him reborn with immortality. Togo was another character who was featured in the poll. He was a character that played a supporting role in Tekken 6's scenario campaign mode. He was also Lars's friend and fellow Tekken Force member. His fighting style would have been similar to Lars. He would have used a sword for certain attacks. He also would have been able to call in airstrikes via his radio. Since he died in the game's story, he was never implemented as a playable character in Tekken 6. The creativity that the team had during Tekken 3's development never ceases to amaze me. Another scrapped character was a zombie bride in a wedding dress. On the Tekken Revolution website, it claims that she would have been the first zombie in a fighting game. However, Harada may have forgotten that Lord Raptor from the Darkstalker series would have predated her by three years. The concept resurfaced for Tekken 6. She was going to be Miguel's sister. You know. Since the fighting style for a zombie would have been difficult to create, the idea was scrapped once more. At some point in the series, the team considered implementing a female version of Paul. Funnily enough, this crazy idea reminds me a lot of what SNK did with their characters in SNK Heroines. Next is Ganmi Chan, a teenage female wrestler who idolizes Ganryu. She was considered for Tekken Tag Tournament 2, but was scrapped in order to focus on Ganryu's popularity. A sketch of her was released, which has her in what looks to be a schoolgirl swimsuit. Honestly, she looks younger than even Asuka and Lucky Chloe. Considering Gunryu's odd history with women, I think the decision for scrapping her was a good call. Lastly, one of the characters who were featured on the poll was an average, run-of-the-mill old man. Apparently, he was suggested earlier on in the series, but was rejected in an instant. To be honest, the character reminds me of the former from Dragon Ball. Considering all of the different entries in the series, it's a wonder what other characters were scrapped in the development phases. I'm satisfied knowing that Harada graced us with this insight. Let me know which characters you would like to see in an upcoming Tekken game. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the content, check out my video on why Tekken 7 disappointed me. You'll love it.